How you doing? Again, uh, I'm going to pick it up with uh, the 10th verse. We left off the 9th verse of Revelation chapter 1. Again, sorry about the uh, vol uh, the fan here. Uh, I don't know what's going on with this computer, but it's, uh, it's not even a year old. But um, Just try to bear with it, please, and just uh, concentrate on the studies. We'll try to get through uh, this, and we'll try to explain truth to the best of my ability. And uh, that's why we want to seek the truth, and we ask the Lord. Yahweh, our Father, the truth and uh, wisdom, knowledge, and guidance, and uh, the protection that only our Father Yahweh can give us. And uh, do it in the name of the Lord Yahweh. Thanks. And now uh, let's continue. Uh, John was uh, in the Isle of Patmos, uh, wrapping it up with the last study of the Word of God and the testimony of uh, God. And uh, as I said, it says here, Jesus Christ. I always try to stick the name in. False Christ comes first. Satan comes first, claiming to be God. That's my opinion there. So you could rightly divide the word to the best of your ability and decipher the truth for yourself. Second Thessalonians chapter 2. Uh, whose coming uh, is the return of the true God, true Lord. Uh, Second Thessalonians 2, that's the whole subject. And you get down. And whose coming is after the working of Satan. Because of the sixth trump, Satan. With all power, signs, and lying wonders, smoke, fire, and brimstone, which is uh, Satan claiming to be Jesus, claiming to be God, the Antichrist instead of Christ, and uh, God's coming, the seventh trump, the furthest one out, 1 Corinthians 15, 51, and 2, is in, who's coming after the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders. So Satan will come first, claiming to be Jesus, the fake Jesus, and that's plain as simple as it gets. So, uh, Let's continue on. Ten verse. I can only do this 15 minute segments. That's why the last study got cut off because of the, uh, you know, who I ain't mentioning names, but the tube here. And um, it was 1555. I am placing blame. Just continue on. I had to cut the end out. We got it loaded up. So we'll start here. I only got a few minutes. So I'm going to try to do this as quick as I can. Uh, Ten. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day, John, and heard behind him me a, a great voice as a trumpet. 11 saying I am Alpha and Omega the first and the last and what thou seest write in a book and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia and Ephesus and Samaria uh, Smyrna and Pergamos and unto the Thyatira and unto Sardis and unto Philadelphia and unto Lycidia, Laodicea and uh, that's what John's writing to the seven churches which is in Asia and only two that God approved which were Shemana of Philadelphia, chapter 2 and 3, who teach of those Kenites, that's the key of David, which unlocks the scripture, unlocks the truth, and knowing that the devil's the one that planted those seeds that into that bloodline, that Judah bloodline, and uh, yeah, it's twisted everything up, the Kenites, they were scribing all along, First Chronicles 2.55, the devil's children, the Kenites, Zuan, Z-U-A-N, check it out, the tears among the wheat, Matthew 13, and uh, so... Those are churches that God approved. And um, continuing on 12. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. And, it, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. That would probably be the seven angels. Uh, the seven golden candlesticks. Uh, it's in the Old Testament. I'm not sure where. Um, it would be uh, Joel. I'm not sure. Um, it would be Daniel too. But uh, that would be the seven golden candlesticks. Um, Let's just continue on. 13, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about with the paps with a golden girdle. That's uh, the spirit, of, that's the that's God, Yahweh, our Father. I am the name, Yasha, Yah. The first and the last. And uh, the seven candlesticks are probably uh, the seven angels, which uh, are all God's elect, you know, chosen, handpicked by God. Uh, there's four Zoom. Zoe, uh, Ecclesiastes, uh, Ezekiel chapter 1 explains they guard the altar, which uh, was the job that Satan used to do until he fell for pride, Isaiah 14, and I uh, was condemned to die, Isaiah 28, I mean, Ezekiel 28, um, that's the son of perdition, Satan, uh, fake Jesus, Antichrist instead of Christ, and continuing on here, and uh, in the midst of the candle, one alike. In the midst of the candlesticks, one alike unto the Son of Man. That would be God, the true God, the true Savior, the true Christ, the Anointed One. 
which you've got. And uh, at 14, his head and his ears were like white as wool and white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And uh, from that Shekinah glory, God comes with where he is, emanating from him, that Holy Spirit, that Shekinah glory. And his feet like into fine brass as if they're burned in a furnace, and his voice has the sound of many waters. As God, Yahweh, our Father, L O R D, all capital Lord, which is Yahweh, which people call Jehovah, but there's no G's in the Hebrew language, so it wouldn't be Jehovah, it'd be Yahweh. You can check that out in my study, I Am That I Am. Um, nobody's perfect, my studies ain't perfect, no man's perfect. We all fall short, but we repent in the name of the Lord. And try to stay on the track and try to get the truth to the best of our ability, best of my ability anyway. So any miscommunications or misconstruing in my studies, please check, feel free to check me out, check it out. I have studied with the Shepherd's Chapel for well over five years, almost on a daily basis, sometimes all day and night. So is anybody qualified to teach God's true word, be us elect, chosen, handpicked by God. Ephesians chapter one, you can read it for yourselves. And uh, check us out. Take it back, get a strong skin coordinates, take it back to the Hebrew and the Greek, and uh, you can get a um, the Greek, uh, Hebrew and the Old Testament, Greek written in new, some Aramaic, and take it back and rightly divide the word of truth. And I got also a companion study Bible, which is King James Version. Well, the closest you're going to get to truth, you got to rightly divide the word of truth, not that spirit of error, which is Satan, and pull the truth out for yourselves. Check us out, check me out. And I uh, pray that only the truth be revealed. In the name of Lord Yahweh. And uh, many waters, 16, and he had a, in his right hand had seven stars. And he had in his right hand seven stars. Um, and out of his mouth went a sharp two edged sword, and his countenance was like the sun shineth in his strength. And his countenance was as the sun shineth, shineth in, his, in his strength. It's your kind of glory. Seven stars, probably, um, probably the, could be. Um, the, the seven plagues, the curses, or whatever, the vials that'll be poured, possibly, I'm not sure. Um, check it out in the, in the Strong's Concordance, in the Greek. Seven stars, verse 16, Revelation 1. And I saw him, and, and when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, and saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. I have the keys of hell and of death. Well, if false Christ comes first, Satan claiming to be God, claiming to be Jesus, and if he was dead, God, um, is God a living, not the dead. So he has always been, and always will be, and always will be again. So you got to be careful. The Kenites are twisting the scripture, First Chronicles 2:55, when they were and they're scribing. Not only that, but probably history as well. And if they're trying to stomp out Hebrews 2, which is death. God would be creeping death, would he not, in my opinion? And if they're trying if they're trying to defeat death, which would be the fake Christ on that cross, which would be Satan claiming to be Jesus, the Antichrist, who comes at the sixth trump first, standing in Jerusalem, doing miracle signs and lying wonders, and that would probably be Satan trying to defeat God, him and his children and the communistic Russian society. Not all the children of God, but those entities, those evil wicked ones. Which is why the Noah's flood in the first place to wipe them out because the wickedness was continually even in people's minds Genesis 6 check that out and uh, continuing on here he has the keys of hell and of death is a consuming fire check that out Hebrews 12 29 I think God is a consuming fire and those who want to follow Satan who is a dead man walking are gonna end up perishing as well as Satan the son of perish perdition in Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 28, we'll read that in. Second Thessalonians 2. Uh, continuing on here. I'm almost going to wrap it up. I've got a few minutes left here. Um, 19. Write these things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. And John got that vision, was pulled to that third world age, that, yeah, prior to the, Lord, uh, to the third world age, which is the Lord's Day. Um, which, in my opinion, again, See, it comes first, do the math. I think you've been seeing it. I think if you check out history and the Kenites twisting the history up and the books up, I think you'll find out that it's, we're probably only in 1013. It's probably a thousand years knocked out. So they want you to make it think that's the little, the little niche that's 2013, which probably is not. It's probably 1013 if you check.
check out the books and I mean these are the same people teaching that Columbus discovered America in 1492 well, imagine that because Moses brought out the Israelites from e out of Egypt in 1492 BC that seems kind of coincidental doesn't it well you check it out for yourselves people and rightly divide the word of truth study to show yourselves approved every day let's wrap this up here now um, write those things God to John Yahweh um, let's uh, finish it up here the mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand and the seven golden candlesticks the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches well, there you have it God's elect um, probably beyond just a little beyond God's elect God's elect we'd be here in the flesh pulling those souls from the fire planting the seeds and the seven angels would be a uh, God's elect could take the face of the angel of uh, uh, God's elect have angels which can take the face of God at any time uh, I think that's in Matthew. One of my studies got it. Peter, I think it's Peter that has it. Um, take the face of God at any time. You can look that up. And uh, the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. And that wraps up chapter one of Revelation. And um, so there you have it. The seven stars are the seven angels, and the seven candlesticks are the churches. So you have seven angels over each of the churches uh, and only two of the churches are approved by God um, Shemana of Philadelphia the ones that teach of the Kenites, Satan's little offspring, bloodline the Zuan, the Tears, Kenites, sons of Cain and you take it back to the prime would be sons of Cain and uh, who, who Cain went and took a wife but when you look up Kenites it says um, of an oriental tribe a place in Pal excuse me and um my my opinion would be that back in the garden of eden when the when satan second corinthians uh chapter 11 took um beguiled eve and had sexual intercourse and, and you know beguiled holy seduce espatio expatio and um she continued in labor yasaf which is to give so what was she doing she was giving birth so and god put enmity between the two seeds satan's seed line offspring and us the Adamic bloodline the, the real true Israelites the, the man Adam Eth Adam and um, and there's always been enmity and they've been twisting the books and uh, Jeremiah 35 allowed in you can read that first Chronicles 255 the Kenites that's the sons of Cain and they probably took when Cain was kicked out of the garden for slowing his brother for murdering him first John chapter 3 verses 12 Cain was of that wicked one the first murderer and um, the devil's son, Satan's son, Satan, Cain, not to be confused with uh, the Adamic bloodline, us. They claim to be us, claim to be Jews of our brother Judah, but lying out of the synagogue of Satan, the bloodline offspring, Zerah 2233 in the Greek, in the Hebrew dictionary, as offspring, male sperm, and sperma, and um, Revelation 2 9 and 3 9, which will be coming up. And he probably went and took an Oriental tribe, which was a six day creation. Um, you can check out my video. Make sure you rightly divide the word of truth and listen to the Holy Spirit, not spirit of error, man, and, or any other man, but listen to the Holy Spirit, let it speak, and do the, and do the deciphering, God, Yahweh, our Father. And um, so that was probably what, what they, my point was that they, they um, that's why it says that of an Oriental tribe, is my opinion, is that it was probably of an Oriental tribe that Cain went and took one of six day wives, because it wasn't a sister, they were the only ones there, they, they formed, and uh, Adam, the man Adam, Eth Ha Adam 120, and mankind, ethnos, ethnics, the six day creation, which was the six day creation, eight day formed to till the garden, to be the garden tiller. And the devil's the one that come in and planted the seeds. My opinion is first influx, the Noah's flood, and there was the second influx, key of David, and all that. And the devil planted the seed, Matthew 13, and uh, Satan comes first, claiming to be Jesus, Antichrist instead of Christ. And uh, now here we are. My opinion would be it's probably 1013. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on it all. Just put it on that shelf, like I said. And uh, keep staying in the word every day, daily. The study to show yourselves approved. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Thank you for listening. And God bless. Y'all have a bless. Stick around. We're going to continue. And uh, we'll get the truth to the best of my ability. Pulling the souls from the fire. Plant them seeds, people. Don't be shy. Plant the seeds. They don't want to hear it. Don't throw pearls to swine. Dust your feet, dust your feet off. And continue on. Thanks for watching and listening. In the name of Lord Yahweh, amen.